Hello, Magic players. It's Corn Time 60, that corny guy. And today we're going to do the Tinkerer's Cube draft. Now, uh, to make it more fun, I'm just not going to look at the card pool. So I'm going into this totally blind. I imagine since it says Tinkerer's Cube, there's going to be a big artifact sub theme. It makes me think Artifact Removal is going to be Primo. And then the Artifact deck is going to be... Okay, these don't look like Artifacts to me. I was wrong. I was so wrong. What does this do? So it copies itself once a turn. Sure, what does this do? But it's too complicated. <laughs> Vermokas Command is pretty good. What does Vermokas Command do, though? It's a plus one counter fight, honestly. I'm leaning towards cast out just because I don't know. Card types. So this is a five mana Tarmogoyf that multiplies itself. I'm just going to take one of the Oblivion Rings because I don't know what I'm doing. What does this do? It's a clone. What is this? Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may pay two life and exile it. If you do create a token that's a copy, except it's a 1-1 one -one with Toxic 1. Champion of Lamholt is good. I don't want to be stuck in white already. Is this the same as, like, wasn't there another Tinkerer's Cube a long time ago? Green looks huge right now, though, honestly. I think I'll take the Cemetery Protector. I might be making a terrible mistake not going into green, but here goes. That seems good. seems really good if it hits them three times they lose basically oh no it shuffles in every time never mind that's kind of a pain i still don't know what i'm doing so far i'm in mono white god pharaoh's gift seems really good Transmigrant's Crown also seems good. I think I'm going to grab a Luminous Brood Moth. Or Mothra, mind you. God Pharaoh's Gift seems really, really good, though. What does Scroll Wielder do? There's the battlefield. Draw three cards, then discard two. If two of the cards share a card type, put two plus one. So it's a four mana, five, five trample, kind of. Four mana, five, five, trample, draw a card. I know that's an oversimplification, but that's how I'm choosing to read it. Oh, there's the battlefield. Exile target instant sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. You may cast it this turn and spend. Oh, it's like a weird reverse snapcaster mage. Okay. Um, Blast Zone. Uh, I think I'm just gonna grab the reinforcements. Galta. 
Holy crap. Yeah, green is just nuts right now still. Soldier. 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 Oh, it looks like we're tribal soldiers. Oh, this is just you name white. Holy crap. Now, Odric is actually kind of a non-bow with uh, Luminous Broodmoth, because he gives everything flying, which means you don't get to do the uh, the thing where they reanimate. Vorpal Sword. Ganjo. Alter. That's ridiculous. If you have really good luck, that probably can be insane. Let's grab Ganjo, though. All right, let me actually read this now. So if you pay six mana, you'd get four different three drops. An opponent picks two that you get. Yeah, we're probably not running which of the moors. Let's grab her. I might end up being in green-white. The Dromokus command did not come around, which worries me. I mean, someone else is in green-white. I don't know who it is, though. If I get a big enough bomb, I may have to just totally change what I'm doing. Should I ever for a card put it in your hand then shuffle? Yeah, we're just gonna grab Guardian Project. Oh, why did that come around? You can run this in anything. Seven mana reanimate a creature every turn. If there's anything that lets you remove counters, I think Mothra could go infinite. Is there an infinite combo with Luminous Broodwath? There kind of has to be, right? Like, I think there has to be a combo with this. Something that, like, when it enters, remove counters. You know? When it enters, you remove the counter from itself, so you can just sacrifice it an infinite number of times. I need more cheap white soldiers though if i want to make this actually work arcane proxy meh very meh i do like mishra's foundry honestly What's this do? Flash, first strike, protection from god creatures. When it enters, exile and attack you. But, oh man, it's a three mana Oblivion Ring 2-2 two -two with first strike. I'm not even gonna... Like, do I even want to read the other cards? <laughs> oh shit, that's good reanimator. What does this do? It sort of forces you to attack all their stuff, which seems bad. I doubt Mishra's Foundry is going to come around, but yeah, I'll go ahead and grab um, Sigrid. Unfortunately, a warrior and not a soldier. It's like a one drop. I think Cataclysm is probably the best choice here. 
Defiler is also pretty good. Honestly, this dragon is also pretty good. Uh, yeah. When it dies, you bounce a bunch of stuff, usually. Counter a spell, make a blood token. <laughs> Not super duper. Each player chooses an artifact, creature, enchantment, and planeswalker, and then sacrifices the rest. But if I get some good ETBs, I think Emil is better. <laughs> and we're cool. How many historic spells do I have? Artifact, legendary, legendary, artifact. I honestly do have enough that that could work. Marari's Wake. Let me think if I have artifact creature land enchantment it's still a nine drop that's not practical Marari's wake however hidden stockpile and circuit mender are also good but scrubs hive charming prince might be better Are they white? No, they're colorless. Hmm. Hmm. Destroy all non-giant creatures. I think Skrull's Hive is probably better. Surveil three? That card's actually insane. Holy crap. Grab cave. Scute swarm also good, but let's grab cave. Which lily is this? Pretty good. Dragon Engine, technically playable. Turgrid also. I think I'll grab Skyclave Shade. Erborg Lurgoyf. Oh, Usher of the Fallen, for sure. I need, I need cheap stuff. The Foundry came around. Imagine that. Let's see, exiled one other creature from the battlefield or creature card from a graveyard. When it leaves, put them onto the battlefield. So if I exile a creature from my graveyard, it's sort of bad reanimator. I do think Eater of Virtue is still correct. I don't think that card's that good. Especially for being a 3-drop. Hidden Stockpile is actually pretty good. It's probably better than this. I'm initiate. I'll have to read Caleb and Krug here in a second. This Enduring Angel. I'll probably just grab Gisela anyway, honestly. Five mana. If your life total would be reduced to zero or less, instead transform it and your life total becomes three. It becomes a 3-3 three, three that gives you hexproof and whenever it attacks, double your life total. 
But Gisela is a 4-mana four 4-3 four, flying first strike lifelink. Kind of don't care about anything else in the pack now that I just see that. It's like, oh, well. 5-tap sacrifice 5 creatures, and then you have a 9-7 flying lifelink indestructible haste. That card's kind of nuts. I think Giselle is better. Yeah, we're gonna grab Gisela. Platinum Angel. Sheesh. What's Kayla do? So you get a 1-drop, a 2-drop, and a 3-drop for free from your hand, and you get to discard draw. Angel Fire Ignition is actually insane. If I end up in red... I'll grab the Platinum Angel. It is four tap board wipe. Oh shit. I have to be more heavily into black than I'd like to be to run that. Oh, crowbar. Tarn Silex. Can't stay away. Herald. Packed weapon. Approach of the second son. No, we're going to grab Bruno. Approach is pretty fun and all, but uh, if we have Bruna and um, Gisela, recruitment officer I think is better because this is five mana do nothing to begin with. Sure, it's a huge combo with Skrell's Hive. Works well with two or three other <coughs> cards. Flash flying. Lotus Field. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Torolf's hammer. I think I'm more in red than black or green at this point. I'll grab the mirror. Dawn of Hope came around. Nice. It's not the best card, but it's decent. Oh no, Raven Man's also pretty good. Let's grab the Forge. I may end up having to splash another color, which is really annoying, because I'd rather not. Still, it should be pretty easy to splash red. I'd rather be mono white, but they're not really giving me the option. Okay, so now we build. Um, I 
I'm happy with the split. I'm happy with everything about this, but it's three cards short. <sighs> Which is the only real downside. So I have to run at least three other cards. Should be, I, if I go black, that'll probably be Hidden Stockpile, Herald of Anguish. Maybe Witch of the Moors? Maybe Angel of Suffering. If I run red, it'll be Grim Initiate, Kayla, and Chance for Glory. Or Mirage Mirror, Kayla, and Chance for Glory. Could also run Stockpile, Skyclave Shade, Mirror. We'll throw in the Mirror. Artifact. Oh no, it's not gonna let me do that, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifact cards. What has a good ETB? Nothing. Green honestly might be a better choice. Just run Marari's Wake, Toriel, and Guardian Project. don't like self-mill. I'm not... I don't like self-mill. Which one actually does the fusion? Give me your instep. If you both own and control Gisela and Bruna, then meld them. Flying first strike vigilance life when your opponents can't cast spells with CMC 3 or less. Kinda nuts. Since we're barely in uh, green. Three green cards, four green lands. Even seems like overkill. I won't be able to cast the black side of him, but I'm kind of okay with that. Guardian Project is good because it'll draw me cards if I can get it out. Let's try it. Not sure if I'm aggro or mid-range, but we're about to find out. I did not get a Leshnorn, which is sad. I can keep this. It's probably the best thing against me, honestly. Really? Maybe aggro is a really bad choice, and I just don't know how to draft this format. has read ahead. He's going to mill himself. Oh, mill your lands. Okay, he's not actually stuck on lands. Blow that up so he doesn't get it. It's 
So hard evidence. Dude's got mad defenses. Let's drop Mothra. It's not sorcery speed, so I can make us both draw a card. There goes Mothra. Kinda sucks. attacks you may pay one and discard if you do draw whenever you discard one or more you may exile one from your graveyard and cast it this turn you may exile one of them so one of the cards that you discarded not any card from your graveyard Marari's wake should be huge here. I'm even floating one. Let's play Joriel. Pass and play Resolute. Oh, wait, I should have drawn during my turn. That way I would have made a cat. Oh, I was foolish. Oh, well. Next turn, I won't mess it up. Does not have good attacks. He has attacks. He doesn't have good attacks. So I'm going to go ahead and double block this thing. I maybe should have triple blocked. Oh well. Yep, he comes back with flying.
And he concedes. Marari's weight, God Pharaoh's gift. I had fun. That was goofy. That was goofy as fuck. I did not expect that to be how my deck works. Okay. I underestimated Marari's wake. As soon as I saw it, I should have been like, alright, we're in green-white. <laughs> Anthem plus more mana. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> this hand is nuts. I mean, my opponent probably also has a bunch of crazy shit, but this is... Start with a 2-1, and then Skrelv's Hive, and then Marari's Wake, and then... <laughs> whatever. Hello, Bran. You want to trade? No? Skrelv's Hive. Bro. I don't like that. If I can actually hit the mana and play this and buff the team, I'll be in a much better position. Sure. Okay, there's a Ganjo. Which will let me play Mothra the Supersonic. I don't feel like letting him draw for free, so I'm not going to attack. Yeah, if I can resolve Marari's Wake next turn and buff all of these, that'll be kind of insane. Creature or treasure. So he could crack the treasure to draw. Erebos. It's pretty good. Two mana, sack a creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus one. Whenever another creature you control dies, you may pay two life to draw. Pretty good. Kindly find a crowbar or something. I think I just punch him for four in the air. Right? Mono black devotion with mostly white mana. Right. Sir Conrad the Grim. There it is. Hello, friend. Let's do some mathematics. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ground attackers. So four get through. If four get through, they'll all be two twos. So that's eight. Nine to, I think that's lethal. 
think that's lethal. Even if he blocks the... Oh, wait, he has five blockers. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Let's say he blocks these. That's two, four, six, eight. That's 13. Yep, he dead. Unless he can kill one of his creatures. No, because that uses the stack. He'll still be dead. Yeah, unless he has something special, he's taken lethal and then one. There we go. We got there. Yeah, Skrull's Hive is also pretty good. If I had to wait one more turn, I may have been in a bad position, because whenever creatures died, I would take damage. I'm not sure what he could have done differently. If I was him, I might have cracked the treasure to draw a card, in the hopes of hitting more lands. But who knows if that would even be right. This actually sucks, but it has both of the fusion cards, so I'm going to keep it for the memes. Uh, yeah, let's go with Mishra's Foundry first. You may have a bauble, but I have a foundry. Cost two to animate. I always think it costs one to animate. He gets to see my top card. Fine. Honestly, if he doesn't have remova, Giselle is just the game. Eater of Virtue. He may have removal, so I'm not going to animate. When a quick creature dies, exile it. That actually sucks. That's nuts. I don't think it's worth giving up the fusion to uh, to hit for an extra two a turn. I think I'd rather play MEL. I can equip this to MEL, sure. Yeah, drawing an extra card every turn is kind of nuts. For free, like... Art for Giselle is really cool. Does he give it first strike? Vigilance. No? Okay. Damn it. I can't. I can't, uh, not do it, can I? Sucks. Would love to get the fusion. Would love to get the fusion. It means him not killing Gisela. That's what I need to get the fusion, is him to not kill Gisela. Of course, if he does kill Gisela, then anything that I play can be plus 2-0 flying lifelink first strike, which is kind of nuts as well. Flying.
So, if I Guardian Project and then play Shield... scared I'm so close and that makes me worried Gaunty okay <laughs> I don't give a fuck bro you think I give a fuck? That thing's dead then, right? I mean, he only kills one of them. Yeah. Oh, it's not a land. All right. Nope. I guess I should have played this first. Oh, this bobble bullshit is getting on my nerves. It's kind of not a big deal, but it's kind of a big deal. Life blanket. Oh, really? That seems like a waste when he could have used that on Gisela. Touch the spirit realm. Well, that's gonna hit Gisela then. It's Shale! Oh, I need mana. All right. Um. Not swinging with Gaunty. I didn't think about him being able to replay the burb. Oh, he ended up taking the Enduring Angel. Neat. Land. Not a land. Holy crap. Oh, 
Oh shit, it has double strike. What the fuck? Okay, well... I think I'm gonna concede there. That's gonna be a shame scoop. I don't think there was... I had Platinum Angel. I probably shouldn't have scooped there, but I'm just gonna shame scoop because I didn't read the card. I might have even picked it if I realized it had double strike. I could have played Skrelv's Hive and waited and potentially drawn a land. And if he didn't have any removal, Platinum Angel would have just won me the game. The chances of them having no removal are low, but there was a chance. That was stupid of me. Swing, is he gonna make the 1-1 one, one or play a card? Ugh, that's pretty damn good. So I kinda have to be control right now. I don't have the mana. Oh shit. Wait, did he have lands in grave? He did not. Okay. Tune dispenser, huh? Is this a human? It is. So, I think drawing off of the uh, the thing is probably better because it means I'm more likely to be able to cast Bruna. Tribunal! Holy crap, that's pretty damn good for him. Bad for me. Even worse for me. Even worse for me. Wait, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh yeah, I'm dead. The hell? I really should have slowed down the last game because now my, uh, my score is bad. I mean, real bad. Yeah, I'm not going to change anything, though. I think Mirari's Wake is good. I think Guardian Project can be good. Can be a dead card, though. We'll see. I will try it. Oh no, I'm going second. I thought I was going first. Don't have good attacks anymore. But 
All right, so black, blue. So I probably should have played different colors. I'm play him and pay one to draw a card. Which I think is what I'm gonna do, actually. If that's the case, here comes Dawn of Hope. How scared of ninjutsu am I? Not very. Oh, that's nuts. I didn't even realize how that worked. That's actually insane. So if I manage to trigger a uh, mentor once, I'll get another trigger because of Joriel. So meaning if I draw land, I can pay four, make a token with Dawn of Hope, and then pay two more and draw two more cards. Holy shit. It's pretty nuts, actually. Um, <laughs> play Scrolls Hive. So he's probably going to start making an army of cats now. He'll never be able to activate the six mana ability unless he's in green, but still pretty good. Yep, that figures. Seven. So I will not pay to draw off Skrelves. Oh, that actually sucks as well. So now he has that ability. start punching you for six a turn he has gained control of two of my creatures yep 
If he gains control of Bruna, that's probably game. But I still have Platinum Angel, so we're not going to give up no matter what. I could still draw Marari's Wake and just overwhelm him with Skrelv tokens. Honestly. She's legendary. Legend rule it. Yeah, okay, good. And then he gets to draw another with Mentor. Yep. It's so nuts. I had a cool combo for like two seconds and my opponent stole my cool combo. Oh shit! <laughs> Beginning of end step, okay, so. Let's get it! Let's get it! Come on! Come on! Go to end step! Go into end step! We're going to end step! <laughs> Get melded. Yes. Yes. Pass. <laughs> Very nice. It becomes colorless. Mildly annoying. Each player mills four. Put a creature card with an even mana value from among those cards. He doesn't have an even mana value. Nothing in his graveyard has an even mana value. Yeah, okay. My Marari's wake. No. So, I'll probably play this exiling a creature from his graveyard. Not sure what, but a creature. Or the quasi-duplicate, actually. That way he can't get another Gyruda. Gigan. Sigrid seems pretty good. Let's pass. Because next turn I can... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So one creature would have got in. I would have got in for one extra damage and lost most of my creatures. If I had attacked with multiples. this attacking or blocking attacking or blocking so i guess i could have done that and potentially exiled one of his things oh wait if i had activated foundry and swung out i could have won oh well
No hits. Very nice. It's what I like to see. Creature, does he get back? I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, he's gonna return Gyruda and do it again. figured he wasn't going to attack, but yeah, let's... We'll do mathematics on my turn, actually. Ignore Skrelv. And Loran have a hit. He can hit the Grafted Identity. Which is not bad. Um, and changes my math a little, so I'll go ahead and do that. I don't have any double greens, so let's go ahead and... Loran, first off. I'll probably sacrifice the Mentor in response. Let me think. So I have how many attackers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, twelve. Thirteen attackers. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blockers. Okay, I think we got it. He only has eight blockers and I have 13. I mean, even if they're all one ones, five creatures are getting through. So he would need like destroy target creature, gain four life or gain three life. Still lethal and then some. Yep. Sure, why not? That was a lot of noise right there. A lot of just noise. What is this format? I mean, that was fun. It was fun. It was weird. Wacky. These games end up taking a long time. Sweat split. Sure, I'll keep it. Looks like I'm running Tribal Legends, I guess. Humans bring nothing but suffering and deceit. They are not welcome in my forest. Like, she forgot she's a human. 
Once Upon a Time is stupid. This card should never have been printed. Uh, he probably kills the Skrelv's Hive if I do that, so... I think Joriel is the better choice right now. I'd rather play Skrelv's Hive, but if he just kills the Skrelv's Hive, that'll feel bad. Gyruda. I think this is right. Rather it not be exiled where he can get it back. Oh shit. Um I think Gisela is better. Dante, that's pretty good. All right. If I draw land, it's Guardian Project Recruitment Officer. If not, it's probably Skrelv's Hive Recruitment Officer. There's a land. Okay, so. Oh, he's digging. He needs lands. That's what that means. Cemetery Protector is decent. Um, question right now, do I play Egonjo? What's in Graveyard? Land? No, just creature. How many legends do I have? So this only costs one white to activate. So, I'm leaning more towards Skrelv's Hive, but Blinking Gisela is also pretty good. I think I'll Skrelv here. Use this as removal later. Gyruda's pretty good. Long as he... Oh! Me. Long as he doesn't hit Mothra. Him. Here's Mothra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, frankly. Let's just combo off in the most insane way. I just drew, like, what, three, four cards? Skyfisher's pretty good. Look at this guy also comboing off and doing crazy shit. Very cool. Oh, he figured out Guardian 
project was a problem. Under its owner's control. So I can blink my own Mothra and get it back. also instant speed, so I may as well wait. No, I should have done it then, because he has sacrifice abilities. No, fuck. Yeah, I should have done it during my turn. He's going to mill me out at this point. attackers do I have? Ignore one boy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so let's just swing out. He doesn't have any lifelink. No lifelink confirmed. GG. I guess this deck's main strategy is to go wide. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And he has 6 blockers. I'm doing my math right. He takes exactly 7. If he blocks optimally, he still takes exactly 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. Yes, I did do math correctly. First strike. Oh no. Oh no. He has no creatures left in his graveyard. Does he have any artifacts? No. I guess I'll hit a land then. Casually play a Platinum Angel. I forgot one of my creatures had First Strike. And that's what let him live. Still don't think he kills me. Let's think. So if I swing out this time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attackers. 3, 4, 5, 6 blockers. So he'll take 6 damage. He can gain 2, but that's still lethal. 
pretty sure that's still lethal. Unless he has something. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six damage will get through. He can gain two off of that. He can prevent one because he can deal one damage to a creature. Oh. It's actually pretty annoying. Let's try it for next turn, then. Oh, he can just blink it twice and kill me. He just blinks it again and mills me. Yeah, I should have swung out that turn. If he didn't see the play, I would have won. Yeah, he doesn't even have to swing. Let's pay. All right, well, I didn't think about the mill. I guess Gyruda is like the strongest card in the format. Oh well, GG's. I had some fun. I don't think I played that format correctly. I think I did really badly in terms of knowing what the heck the format is. But that's okay. That's what happens when you go in blind. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. And as always, peace out, y'all.